Hey, welcome to Gear Ag Garage. Today we're going to walk through Innovative Motorsports uh, AFR gauge. Just bought this on Amazon the other day. Um, really looking to tune up the Mustang here. Um, obviously, it's still got a lot of old school components on it, so I wanted to add a little bit of new school to it. Um, AFR gauge will definitely help me know how I'm dialed in, especially with me doing some, some frag racing and track days. I want to make sure that I'm not cleaning this thing out with the, the new heads and intake and um, aluminum pistons that are in it. So, uh, follow along. Next thing I want to do is unbox this for you guys. Um, right, Innovative Motorsports, AFR gauge. Should come with everything that we need to be able to get it done. Obviously, other than welding the bung in. Um, comes with a super nice cable. Nice packaging. Here's the O2 sensor. It's a Bosch, which is great. Wide band O2. And here's the business end. I really like this. Uh, it's actually got a little digital display on it, so you can see whether it's lean or rich, uh, just based on the colors that it displays. So that'll be really super nice. Plug and play design. You know, a couple of wires here to be able to wire up. Instructions, great. Um, this is the bung they actually give with the unit. It's a longer one inch bung. I actually already had mine uh, welded in at the, the shop the other day. So uh, won't be using this, be using the other one. So my O2 sensor is going to sit a little bit deeper into the hole, um, which will be okay. Either way, it works fine. And then there's a, a little port out the, to your computer that you can use for doing some data logging and stuff. And it actually comes with um, a silver plate face and it actually has a, should have a white dial in here too. If you wanted a different color, I'm going to go with black, but there's the white right there. So really good stuff. And you can't forget the sticker. Love that. This is a little OBD2 plug off port. Uh, you can actually use this to plug off your OBD2 holes or your bungs. See, I've got two, right? But only one sensor. So um, that's going to allow me to, you know, be able to do one at a time. I'd really love to have both at one time. Uh, <laughs> that, that package from Innovative Motorsports was a little too expensive for me. Um, had everything welded up yesterday at the shop and I've um, actually been getting a lot of um, questions about the exhaust. Um, really love it how it came out and came together. Um, really, I mean, this is it, right? So it's a down pipe to an H pipe to two Summit glass packs and then just some 90s and right out to the side it goes. Uh, sounds really good. Uh, getting a lot of love on that which is great um so let's get started hey so the first thing i'm going to do is plug off one of these holes since i've only got one o2 sensor at this point um going to use some anti seize obviously it's recommended um very highly recommended just so things don't get stuck when i reach out to pull them back out and screw her in So the first thing I'm going to do um, is actually wire up the oxygen sensor. Um, you actually have to program it when it's outside of the bung in the exhaust first. Uh, make sure you read through the instructions uh, to be able to see that. But what I'm going to do is wire, get everything wired up, um, plug it in, get everything done on the inside, and then we'll uh, then we'll come back and uh, screw it in the exhaust and. Put everything together. All right, guys, I thought I'd bring you in and show you what I got going on and where I mounted everything up. Got it right here in front of me, right next to my tack, so that way, whenever I'm you know doing some data logging i can kind of see real time where everything's at based on rpm and got my temperature gauge there and relocated my oil pressure gauge here um kind of sucks that it doesn't come with a pot pot on its own but luckily i had a i had a spare one so i think it all worked out 
looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is try to figure out where uh, 12 volt switch power is. Uh, I've got a power probe, so it's going to make it super easy. Um, if you guys don't have one, I highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, just makes any electrical troubleshooting very easy. So, trying to find some 12 volt switch power. I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to ground this. I think this was grounded to the dash here. Ground that off. Next thing I'll do is switch her on. It's got 12 volt switch power there. Turn it off. Ground. 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 So all this is 12 volt switch power. All this here. Turn it on. Power. Power. That's in there. I've actually already got a fuse in here that I can use. So I'm going to go ahead and wire it up. Quick update, got everything wired up finally, all clean, installed, checked power, checked the light switch, it's actually got a dimmer feature, gonna be done for tonight, got it all routed up, routed it behind the booster through the firewall, and then down behind all the brake lines that I'll zip tied up down there next to the lines. Next day, got everything all wired up last night. Um, time to get started on the actual install. First thing we're going to walk through is actually programming the uh, O2 sensor. All right, first thing we're going to do to program the sensor is actually power up the device for 30 seconds. And it should display an error code of E2. There it goes. So the next thing we're going to do is actually plug in the sensor and leave it in free air and then we're going to repower up the device up top and let it program itself and it should heat up and then calibrate and then actually display a free air um, AFR reading it should be about 22.4. So you can see we've got it sit, sitting there in the free air. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. Perfect. Should do that for 30 to 60 seconds. Means it's being heated up. Perfect. Switch over to CAL. It's calibrating. And there you go, 22.4, right on the money. Now we get to install the exhaust. Just like that, we're all hooked up. Give you guys a peek under here. Got my hangers. Hanger on that side. 